I don't know about y'all, but I do everything with my EDC night. I do food prep in the morning to make my breakfast. Then I use it to start my car in the morning. And at the end of the day, there's nothing like snuggling up with your EDC night. I know, I know, you've seen a thousand reviews on this Spyderco Delica 4, but here's another one. I want to talk about the Spyderco Delica 4 in the urban environment. I live in an urban, suburban area. I live in Maryland. I commute to D.C. And one thing that you have to deal with in the urban environment is the law. The laws are different. The knife laws are, you know, a little bit more strict. In Maryland, where I live, three inches is the law three inches for your, your pocket knife. So this one fits right under that. This is at 2.875 inches. And I don't want to kill you guys with a lot of specs. So I just want to give you, you know, kind of point out some of the things that are most important. Let's talk about, you know, why I like this knife. First of all, it's thin. It's got a super thin blade stock for a, a knife of this size. So, like I said, right under three inches and the, the stock itself, you know, the, the handle is also a thin handle. Like the pocket clip, I wish it was a little bit, uh, you know, deeper in the pocket though. Definitely. This gives you, you know, this much of the knife kind of sticking out of your pocket right about there where that line is. So let's roll in some competitive options. The first one got to be the Big Brother, the Paramilitary 3. These are all knives that are all, you know, I love all of these knives that I'm rolling in. And if you guys want to check out these knives, check out White Mountain Knives. They give you a 10% off uh, code. They gave me a 10% off code because they sent this knife over for me to review. Thank you very much. 10% off if you use GDEF. So definitely check that out. No cost to you guys. But back to what I was saying, the Paramilitary 3 is a super close option. I don't have the, um, the lightweight version. I wish I did. But if you guys can see, these knives are damn near, damn near the same. On the paramilitary three, there's a couple of things. It's got a finger chill and it's a little bit thicker, compression lock. Uh, they're they, they kind of the same, but I want to talk about one thing specifically is the cutting edge. The cutting edge is damn near identical. I think you're missing like an eighth of an inch from the Delica to the Paramilitary 3. Now with the Paramilitary 3, you're going to be in the 130 range. This one is a specialty version with the S. 110 v steel so it's a better steel this one was like 198 or 170 or something like that but you know i got the rc blade works custom scales on it i love this knife but when we're talking about edc and what's comfortable and what you carry the most I, I'm, I'm carrying this. I'm carrying the Delica more often than I'm carrying the para, Paramilitary 3. All right, let's, that's one knife. We'll talk about another one. Well, how about the Benchmade Bug Out? Everybody loves it. I know that they come out with a smaller version right here. This one has um, S30V steel. And one thing about the reason why they came out with a smaller version is because of, of the blade length. This, the bug out comes to you with a 3.24 inch length blade. And what that does is that might give you a misdemeanor charge, possession of a prohibited weapon, depending on where you live. Now you gotta check your knife laws in your state, but do you wanna take the chance? Both of these knives cut. Plus, we got to talk about the price. Even though this is a lightweight knife, there's no question that Benchmade did something special when they made this knife. Um, super thin, almost as thin, if not thinner, than the Delica. But, you know, you got the access lock, super sweet, you know, flip up, thumb stud, great grip on this. I mean, the, the star of the show is the weight on this knife, and that's why people love it so much. It's, it's super light. I forget, an ounce and inch. So this comes in, the weight on this is 1.85 ounces. So under that ounce and inch rule, definitely for EDC. But you got to deal with the price. 117 right now for this version. Now, the Delica is 84 bucks. 117 versus 84 bucks both knife cut 
both knives cut. This one is legal. This one is not legal. Mm, I don't know. Hard decision. I don't know, guys. I mean, I'm not trying to diss any one knife because I, I own these knives. But I'm just saying that for the for what the Delica offers you, it offers you a lot. Only thing, one thing about this Delica, you know, the grip is great. I wish it had a finger show, you know, up here. The jimping on the back is great. Definitely like that. For me, I open this knife, you know, either by rolling it or, you know, um, by pinching it like that. But, you know, the paramilitary three is definitely easier to open. You got the compression lock kind of folds down. This one needs to be tuned and I can do a better flip than that. Come on, George. But yeah, I, I need to practice my flip. But how about if you want another Benchmade knife? Here's a staple, a staple of, you know, the EDC world right now, the Griptilian. This is the mini grip though. Um, the mini grip, because of its size, the, the blade length on this one is 2.91 inches, made out of the same steel that the Benchmade bug out is made out of, the S30V steel, great steel. You know, sharpens, takes the edge well, got the jimping on the back. Now, the blade stock is thicker, definitely, than on the Delica. You can check it out right here. The blade stock is thicker. The handle is thicker, definitely. So, this one, again, wins. Now, this one has the access lock. Definitely like that about the... The Griptilian. This one feels better in the hand too. Just to be honest, totally feels better in the hand. This one feels okay. You know, like I said, I'm missing that finger chill up here at the front, so I can really get a good, you know, control over a knife. Now, 84 bucks for some folks, that still is a lot of money to spend on a knife. So, George, what about a budget option? Check, check me on a budget option. Okay, I got a budget option for you. This is the K Bar Dozier, 18 dollars. Somebody called this a gas station knife. Watch your mouth out there. This is a three inch knife, so it walks right up to that line. Thumb, um, thumb stud. Aus 8 steel on this knife though. And check the blades. The blade stock is definitely thicker than on the Delica. Let me see if I can pull them together and kind of show you guys. Blade stock, definitely thicker. You know, all state steel means that you're going to end up having to sharpen this knife a lot more than you're going to have to sharpen this one in VG10, you know, but for 18 bucks, I'll pull out my sharpener. <laughs> Definitely. Great deal. You know, I have large hands and even this knife fits my hands well, you know, pocket clip about the same length as what's on the Delica as far as what's going to be sticking up out of your pocket. Love it. Reversible thumb stuff. This has been a staple as far as budget EDC for a while, you know, to be totally honest. You know, these knobs, I do my little research. Just probably like you guys check out YouTube, check out what other guys are carrying. And I make my decision. One of the first knobs that I actually checked out for EDC right here years ago was the um, Kershaw Shuffle. Now, this little knife has been through it, carried it for a long, long time. The, the blade length on this one is 2.37 inches, made out of 8 CR13 MOV steel. So not the greatest steel, and this thing's been sharpened and sharpened and sharpened. This lasts me probably about a day of, you know, really, you know, some cutting tasks. Like when I take it fishing or take it in the woods, the, you know, it's got some bonus things. It's a liner lock, you know. It's got the bottle opener on the back. It's got a little screwdriver with the lanyard hole, pocket clip. Deep pocket clip. I think it's it sits lower in the pocket than the um, than the Delica, but definitely a great knife. This one right here. This one goes for what 19 bucks now. You know how can you beat it? 19 bucks. I I just think that you know if you talk talk about the blade stock. Let's check out the Delica again. We'll put it up next to each other. You can see that the Delica is thinner. You know, the steel is better on the Delica. So when you step up in price, you step up on a couple of things. You know, you step up on the quality of your knife. You know, there's some guys are going to put this little collection to shame. They're going to pull out something, you know, the Chris Reeves, the Benza, and, you know, crush all of these knives. But, I mean, I keep it kind of budget, you know, what I consider budget. But I think that this is a perfect fit. You know, shout out to Wild Mike Mountain Knives. You know, they, they have all these different colors. One thing about the colors is like, uh, why do you have this knife in purple, George? When I pull this knife out of my pocket, 
it's a little bit less aggressive than I put, even if I pull out this knife, they're the same exact damn length, but something about pulling out a black knife that makes people a little afraid. Like you about to go, you know, ramble on them. But if you pull out a purple knife, it's like, okay, he's, he's probably just going to cut his sandwich or he's just cutting an apple. You know, it's a little less intimidating. I think that's kind of why Benchmade with, went with this blue. You know, for the longest time, you can only get this knife in blue. And then for me, I took the Blurple Paramilitary 3 and put the RC Blade Works scales on it. And I think it gives it a little bit less of an aggressive look. It's still a big knife. This is a big knife. You know, I don't have the, the, the lightweight version, so I can, you know, definitely compare the weight. But, you know, why? I think the lightweight version is 94 bucks. This is still 84 bucks. Go to White Mountain Knives. They give you 10% off. Use my coupon code GDED, GDEF. I'll put it down in the description. But look at the, the thinness of the blade stock. I just, I just keep on going back to that. I do like the compression lock. I do like the finger chill on this. This fills, fills my hand up better than this does. But this does all my cutting tasks. It does everything that I need it to do. So why spend the extra money for this one? Just because, I mean, if, if you're only looking for one knife. Now, if you're a knife collector, boom, I, under, I totally understand. You know, you want a lot of things in your stable. Got it. Got it. You want different options. Got it. But if you're looking for one knife to use for your EDC, I don't think you need to go all the way up. I think these budget options, definitely this K-Bar Dozier. But I think this sits right there in the perfect range for an EDC knife. That's why it's been a champ for so long. You know, um, the blade length is good. I thought it was going to be a smaller knife, to be totally honest. But this is a good size knife. My big hands, you know, definitely fit well around this knife. The pocket clip comes in black. I just took some steel wool and rub, 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 rubbed until it came with like that silver metallic finish. And whenever I get to a buffer, I'll buff it out and make it a little bit better as far as the shine. Back lock, hmm. Do I wish it had a compression lock? Of course I do. I wish it had the compression lock, but it doesn't, you know? But these are these are all great knives. You know, Benchmate makes great knives. K-Bar makes great knives. Kershaw's proven. I just think that, you know, when you start talking about more premium knives, like where do I wanna land in this, you know, far as premium, like this is, this is 19 bucks. This is 18 bucks. This is like, what's the grip to you? 120 paramilitary, 3, 130, uh, 110 for the, the bench made. Why spend all of that? You know, this one right here will do it. So for Urban EDC, I love the fact that they, you know, just give you so many options. You can get this knife in like glow in the dark scales and all kinds of stuff, man. So they do sprint runs with better steel as far as the blade. But I mean, I could see myself buying a couple of these different um, Benchmade, I mean, Benchmade, Spyderco Delicas. Definitely could because it's just a good all around EDC knife. It falls into that urban EDC. You know, it's not going to scare nobody to death. And, you know, I'm legal. I get stopped and searched. Pull this out. Take a ruler to it. Officer, take a ruler to it, you know, and, and I'm legal. I'm good to go. Now, if you want to run the risk, bench me um, bug out a little bit over. So it depends on now if the officer is cool or not. Now you're taking a chance. But this is legal pretty much everywhere. You know, check your knife laws in your state. But definitely what EDC knife are you guys rocking right now i'm so curious put it down in the comments i want to see what y'all are y'all are you know putting in your pockets every day is there something better than this you know is there something better that i'm missing especially on the budget end i definitely am interested on the budget end i know some somebody's told me about the um the honey badger that's that's a really popular one but you know d2 steel i'm talking about vg10 I don't know if they're comparable. You know, I'm not a metal, a metallurgist out here testing knives, but this is for me. It's like yeah, this is great. I don't even know if I wanted to spend this much on the paramilitary three. After I got this one, I was like, did I make a mistake? I don't know. 
Thanks for watching George the Fine, guys. If you like this video, man, hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down button two times. We're down in the comments talking about everyday carry flashlights, knives, and you know we're talking about backpacks too. So, you know, check it out. Subscribe to the channel. Leave it in the comments. Definitely leave me down in the comments what EDC knife you're rocking right now. I want to know. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.